Hi everyone, my name is Amber and I'm going to be talking about James Coleman. Uh, he is an American-born artist and he's most famous for painting background animations for multiple Disney films. He was born in Hollywood, California in 1949 and is still alive and painting to this day. Uh, he, he had much artistic creativity at, at a young age and no formal training in art and is therefore a self-taught artist. His mother was a secretary at Disney and she got him a job in the mailroom at Disney where he entered an art competition in 1969 and Disney bought this painting for $30. This is the painting that he had made. Disney saw his potential and he continued to create more background art. So his first major hit was for the animated film Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 in 1974. And this is where he found his style that made him Disney famous. He earned a promotion from Disney to background department manager, a title that he held for 17 years. During that time, Coleman drew the background scenes for 12 Disney animated films and supervised 42 other works. Some of the major works he contributed were The Rescuers, The Fox and the Hound, The Little Mermaid, Rescuers Down at Under, and the last piece he finished for Disney was the critically acclaimed mu movie, Beauty and the Beast. Here's some of his. Beauty and the Beast was the last Disney film he created. Sorry, Disney pictorial background piece that he created while the, in the 22 years employed with Disney before retiring to pursue his interest in fine art. Coleman had an interest in fine art that started as a child and that interest never diminished. During his entire stay at Disney, Coleman continued to make art on his own time and sell them in fine art exhibits in Hawaii and other places as well. Coleman is an environmentalist and naturalist, and he uses some of his proceedings to donate support to organizations. As you can see, he has a very unique and vivid style of painting that makes his work stand out amongst others. His choice of mediums are oils, pastels, watercolor, uh, leafing for texture and color. Uh, he once stated that he wasn't sure if Disney inspired him to choose the color and style he adapted um, while painting for them, or if Disney, or if he inspired Disney. So we'll go back to some of the Disney picture. You can see the vivid, bright colors. So you can see that his style is very beautiful, colorful, magical, and it's just simply amazing. He not only paints pictures of magical fairy lands, but of other beautiful outdoor scenes that are also alive with color and light. His career took off in the 1970s, and some his important historical events that happened during that time were the U.S. invading Cambodia, Apollo 13 getting launched, and the Beatles also dismantled. The other art movements that were occurring... Um, <clears throat> During the 70s were post-minimalism and feminism art, such, such as that. Uh, Coleman belongs to impressionistic art movement. Um, his theory of art is to make it expressive. Sorry, I just keep jumping back and forth amongst the pictures, but... This is very, very beautiful. Very colorful. So, um, Coleman has an incredible ability to put emotion and beauty in his paintings with the creative use of colors and light. You can see the Disney look in all his paintings after his first film. Um, he depicted, he depicts amazing idyllic nature scenes full of foliage and color with perfect splays of light. The main elements he uses are color, light, texture, uh, the principles of design are repetition and rhythm, balance, unity, variety, and directional forces. You can see all the directional forces he uses with the, the movement of the water, the bridge, just the light. He catches everything so beautifully. 
the function of art is for di visual delight and personal expression. The art criticism I read about him was nothing but positive. Uh, they agree that he uses expressive theories for all his works. He puts so much beauty and emotion into all of his works that it's impossible to not feel moved in some way. I agree with the expressive theory of his artwork, and I find it very easy to get lost in his magically depicted uh, fantasy lands. I feel peace and harmony when I see such beauty. The artist agrees that he is taking on an expressive theory, and he has said that he is trying to get people to slow down and enjoy the small beauties of life. And he is trying to show people that through the use of detail, color, light, and texture in all of his works. And then, just from the beginning, you can see all the texture from the strokes right here, the light. There's not much color in the very beginning, but this is where he found his style. It's just very unique and colorful. You see all the texture. There's a directional forest this look that's making you go through there. I see the light coming from up here. It's very beautiful. All the directional forces here. All this light come in. Main focus at a focal point. It's beautiful. And then the credits. Where I found all the stuff. Okay, thank you guys.